Now, in a few short weeks, when daylight saving ends, less daylight on college campuses can raise concern for parents and students. Adriana Alexander traveling back to school today to see what Angelo State University is doing to step up their safety. Our meteorologist Simone Thomas shared a graphic showing just how early it will be getting dark in West Texas. Six weeks from now, daylight saving will end and the sun will set even sooner. While some people deal with the adjustment of time change, law enforcement presence at local colleges will be patrolling campuses even more. There's some things that need to change when it starts getting dark earlier. Um, be more aware of your surroundings. I mean, you want to be aware of your surroundings all the time, but at dark, it, it's even more important that they're aware of their surroundings, what's going on around them, who's around. Although the increase of students taking virtual courses has increased over the past year, patrolling at ASU increases when daylight saving season arrives. ASU is also one of the first colleges in the country to offer the Kinetic Global Personal Safety app in their college community. It is a personal safety mobile application for iPhone and Android users meant to initiate immediate emergency response from law enforcement. In addition to the Angelo State Police Department having a high presence on campus, there are also emergency posts spread around campus strategically so students can push this red button for help and get law enforcement here as needed. They're lit up on phone poles all around the campus, so next to dorms, next to academic buildings, and all along the um, concourse. I actually do feel very safe on this campus. I have never felt scared or anything like that. Even walking home at night from classes, I feel very safe here. The campus police is a really good place to or they're good people to get a hold of. They're very fast, very responsive. Lieutenant West says there haven't been any major incidents that have happened on campus recently, but he and his team are prepared for anything that may come their way. We've increased in size and force, so we have more patrol officers on the streets. We do offer escorts if, if a student feels uncomfortable walking after dark. Um, they can call and we'll send an officer over to escort them either by vehicle or we'll walk with them. Adriana Alexander, Fox West, Texas.